All right. Okay. There we go. You know what? I think I've worn this shirt on YouTube before. I can't be an outfit repeater. That is like against the law. Yeah, here we are. So, I wanted to make today's video. Why does the way my arm look is like cut off? Like this, like this part of another, like a green screen or something. But you ain't real. Anyways. feeling myself i like this top i like this shit i want my boobs to sit up here i don't i don't give a damn about super small boobs or like super big boobs i just want them to sit up sit up naturally that's it i'm not a size queen and i would like for them to sit up and be able to be held in place with a bra so that when i'm exercising or jumping I just got a text them. When I'm exercising, doing stuff like jumping and plyometrics, I want my boobs to sit right. And I want I don't want them just in my face, you know? I want them to sit pretty at all times. Don't trust no chick that's messing with your dog. That's law. You come up, don't forget about your dog. That's law. I'm a street nigga, so it's fuck the law. You broke, homie, that should be against the law. <laughs> I love that shit. I love that shit. Anyways, I'm getting to it for real. Okay. I don't know where to start. We are gathered here today to discuss the fact that I feel like I need to stop fasting slash intermittent fasting. And when I say fasting, I mean all day without food, past 90 hours of no food. And then when I say intermittent fasting, I mean like 16 hours fasting, eight hour eating window, and sometimes 23 hour fast with a one hour eating window. So I'll use the terms interchangeably, but I've done both and what I've come to realize in these last few weeks is that I probably need to chill on the fasting slash intermittent fasting and establish a healthy relationship with food and when I say healthy relationship with food I mean can you eat a small portion can you eat till your body says okay I'm good that's enough and be content I I'm so addicted to that feeling of like fullness and being on the brink of not necessarily sick, but just kind of feeling stuffed. I love that. And then I also really love the power and energy that I feel from not eating, right? I like being able to say like, I haven't eaten since last Tuesday. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of disordered. It's not normal. Normal people eat every day. They eat at least three meals a day. And I want to align myself with more of the norm so that I can be normal and have a normal weight. My entire life I've struggled with my weight. Well, I should say from my teenage years, that's when I became aware that I was struggling with my weight. And I was always a chubby kid. I got made fun of, but it wasn't until I was at the doctor and I found out like, okay, this is a problem. This is a medically diagnosable issue, such as underactive thyroid, polycystic ovarian syndrome, hirsutism, and not being able to regulate my emotions properly. All those things just, combined and I want to I want to fix these things one by one but I feel like part of the problem is my eating and I was reading this book called stop the thyroid madness as well as it was stop the thyroid madness and I think it was eat right for your type because I was reading three books at once so I'll just throw in the third one it was like the 17 day diet 
or something like that. But basically the books were saying pretty much the same thing. Like you need nutrition, you need nutrition, you need nutrition. People that are overweight are unfortunately malnourished and people that have thyroid issues are malnourished. I wish I had the book right in front of me. I show you the line and I just, when I saw that line, I was like, okay. I gotta fix this, right? I gotta, I gotta stop being malnourished so that my body can get healthy. I'm so focused on weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, to the point where I'm giving up health. I am sacrificing health, and I need to look for weight loss in a healthy way and health gain, right? So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm working on, and I really feel like the first step to doing that is to stop fasting, like wake up eat breakfast have lunch have dinner a couple hours before bed exercise in a moderate amount because in the past i've taken exercise overboard i've done it all in attempts to lose weight i have successfully lost weight but now i want to be able to keep it off and lose a little bit more but not fly back to where i was right so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And it's so annoying to even be making this declaration because I wanna keep, I want what I'm doing to keep working, but I don't think it's working for me anymore. Like fasting and I, intermittent fasting and I, our relationship has run its course. You served me well, and now it's time to move on to stability. So yeah. Thank you for attending my Venetia talk. I'll catch you next time. And hopefully I have some positive updates in regards to how I'm doing and things that I've been working on. Bye.